Hey, I'm Bill Labaris. I'm the editorial director of the Enterprise CIO Forum. And I'm joined today by someone I would characterize as one of the more innovative CIOs I've met in quite a while. She is Heather Campbell, who was the CIO of CP, Canadian Pacific. Heather, welcome. Thank you very much, Bill. I'm delighted to be here. Now, we're going to be talking today about cloud and some of the innovative things that you're doing at CP with cloud. Uh, give us a little update on what you've been doing to this point in time. We have always, uh, like many companies, been leveraging software as a service in many areas of our business, such as intermodal, human resources, and so on. But lately, we've been forging into infrastructure as a service. And it was really a case of necessity was the mother of invention, so to speak, for us. Um, we had launched a large e-channel and customer self-serve uh, application delivery program using our third parties offshore. But the lead time to get the infrastructure we needed for our development and test environments was proving to take a long time. It was at that point that we decided to embark on public cloud as an option to help us bridge that gap. And what we did was we provisioned sufficient capability for 60 developers operating, operating out of Chandigarh in India, along with about 20 developers operating in North America to have access to a shared development environment. And uh, that's been enormously successful for us. Based on our success in that space, we have now launched a strategy around private cloud and appliance technology. So to this point, can you uh, uh, tell us some of the both tangible and intangible benefits that you've gleaned from cloud? So from our use of public cloud in the application delivery space, we've proven we're able to begin our development cycle at least three months earlier than we would have been. We've also proven that we're able to scale up to provide the kind of end-to-end -end testing that we actually wouldn't have been able to provide with our physical environments. So we're able to ship the software uh, on time, on budget, with quality. In the private cloud space, we're looking at appliance-based technology as an opportunity to take hundreds of servers plus a mainframe and scale them back onto a much smaller number of appliances. Our business case right now suggests that we can run our operation at about a third of the cost of uh, what our outsourced service providers have been able to offer us. So there is enormous benefit to us in private cloud appliance technology going forward. Oh, that is just huge upside. Huge. A lot of questions remain about security in the cloud, and of course uh, that's uh, of, of concern, I'm sure, at CP, plus you have all kinds of compliance and regulatory uh, uh, things to take care of, both in the U.S. and in Canada. What can you say about security and compliance when it comes to the cloud? So security is always an issue for companies, and, and for a CIO it's a topmost issue. And it's important to understand the areas of security in the public cloud that you trust, and those where you're not yet trusting and uh, what mitigations you need to put in place in order to gain that trust. For public cloud at the moment, we're comfortable doing application development and testing there. We don't put customer data in the public cloud, so any data that we use in there is masked. So to us, there isn't any risk in, in that particular use of cloud. In terms of private cloud, that's where we're going to run all of our mission critical type applications. That's where we would do the things involving real customer data. So I do see a time when public cloud is a very viable option for companies. I would suggest that's a few years away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it sounds like prudent security risks that you're taking with cloud. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, Heather Campbell, CIO at CP, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks so much, Bill. Terrific information. And I'm Bill Labaris with the Enterprise CIO Forum saying thank you for joining us as well.